Hello there, this is Xbox customer service. How may I be of service? Hello, this, this is Miss Timmy. Hi, little Timmy. How can I help you, young man? Um, I'm meaning to ask, can we have Hellblade 2 on PlayStation, please? Unfortunately, young man, Hellblade 2 is a Xbox exclusive. Oh, okay. I was really hoping it would come to PlayStation because I'm a Sony pony, you see. And I was hoping it would come to PlayStation. Oh well, never mind. Bye. Goodbye, young Timmy. And I suggest you go out and buy yourself an Xbox Series S or X. Good luck, young man. <laughs> How can Xbox do this with exclusives? PlayStation has no games versus Elder Scrolls 6. And now Hellblade 2. Please, please, somebody help me. I'm a, I need another pony. Do not worry, little one. I am here. I am the pony leader. I'm here with Horizon Forbidden West. This will annihilate Xbox. This will be a Sony exclusive. We have this to play, little man. Little Timmy, wipe those tears away. We will win. We will win. We must hate on Xbox at every opportunity we get. So, little Timmy, come join me as we go on our battle. Hey guys, and welcome back to Leo Gaming. Today, we have got some more Sony Pony Salt from when Hellblade 2, the, the gameplay reveal at the Game Awards, and how Sony Ponies have reacted trying to say it's a downgrade and that it's... It's not as good looking as Horizon Forbidden West. So let's go straight into these tweets because there is some salt to sift through. So the initial tweet from Ninja Fury, your first look at Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 gameplay. Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 gameplay reveal. So the first tweet reads from Solid Snake 2042. Oof. Major downgrade confirmed, very limited scripted, quick time events, gameplay, and was still downgraded. <laughs> and then he's using the cinematic trailer from a year ago, over a year ago, which was a cinematic trailer. And we all know that cinematic trailers are always, you know, spotless upgraded versions of the real game. So you, and then comparing it to the actual gameplay. And then with the actual gameplay screenshot, you've used a compressed image screenshotted from, <laughs> from the gameplay trailer. Now, you can plainly tell the cinematic screenshot is a 4K image or a high-quality image downloaded from Google. And then on the right is a screenshot that you've zoomed in <laughs> and then tried to claim that it's a downgrade. Pal, pal, Solid Snake. Clearly a Sony pony with the with the Twitter name Solid Snake. I mean, that's kind of a big, big giveaway. Quick time events. Well, I'm pretty sure most Sony exclusives, PlayStation exclusives, have quick time events, don't they? Uncharted, Last of Us. Do they not have quick time events? I'm pretty sure they do. And this, this uh, Hellblade 2 gameplay trailer and it was gameplay let's confirm this was an absolute stunning visual masterpiece by ninja theory regardless of what how much you compress the images how much you try and make it compare it to a cinematic trailer you will always lose this argument 100 percent of the time so moving on to the next Sony Pony from Jewel Kid Misfit X says a walking sim, just like the first game. But then we have a defence from Justin Holland. You wasn't saying that when it was a PlayStation exclusive. Then it was a banger. 
Now, it's a walking sim. Man, you ponies really do move the goalposts. And he's absolutely correct, Justin Holland. Good response. Sony ponies do like moving the go those goalposts, don't they? Considering when the first one was out, it was an absolute banger. And now... It's a, a place that, uh, an Xbox exclusive. It's a walking sim. But then you can talk, considering Death Stranding is what most Sony pro ponies preach on their lists of PlayStation 5 games, even though that's a PS4 game rehashed. Am I correct? Am I correct? You ponies contradict yourself in so many circles. It's unbelievable, actually. Surpri well, yeah, it is unbelievable. The contradiction that Sony ponies come out with is, is second to none. I would pay to watch a stage full of Sony ponies talking to each other and contradicting each other at every... It should be a board game, really. It should be called the Sony Pony Contradiction. Play with your family and friends. A great Christmas Eve. Yeah, a bunch of... You, you all sit there, come out with these Sony Pony arguments, and then the other team have got to spot the contradictions. Three points for whoever guesses correctly. But Justin Holland is right. You Sony ponies change the goalposts all the bloody time. And then to use a walking sim as your as your argument, considering Death Stranding is what Sony ponies always brag about and whack on their lists. Again, another argument lost by a Sony pony with one simple sentence from an Xbox player. Sony ponies, give up, give up. Although, to be honest, no, don't give up because I'm enjoying the salt. The salt just keeps streaming. It keeps streaming. Constantly streaming down your, your faces, creating lakes and rivers everywhere across the globe. We love it. We absolutely love it. And the next tweet is actually by Xbox Studio. Complimenting the, the gameplay trailer. Bruh, other level, true next gen. And it was a next gen gameplay trailer and once again our old friend solid snake comes back he can't leave it alone this is one true sony pony who cannot see xbox have any good good publicity and he comes out with demon soul is true next gen 2 <laughs> <laughs> oh god is, is he using demon souls I've, I'm, I'm, to be honest I was expecting Returnal so they normally use Returnal or, or Ratchet and Clank as their, their flagship but demon souls remastered that is your example of true next gen I don't think so Solid Snake give up give up Demon Souls is an old game remastered. That's not new, tr true next gen. We can all see that. We all know this. We all know that. So that one sentence you just made there has made you look very, very, very silly. You know, I would, I would probably try and delete that tweet as quick as possible. Demon Souls is true next-gen 2. The way you're trying to compare that with Hellblade 2, that is absolutely laughable. That is one I can't really have much of a response to because that comment alone just, just argues against itself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, let's move on. So moving on to a, t a reply from I underscore vamp. Where is the gameplay? What is this shit? Throw spears ten times and go back and forth for six minutes. Y'all spent two years on the trips and maybe forgot what mean video game. Plus the downgrade are obviously great grammar and great English. And there's a little meme there of an old man with glasses with the thumbs down. Now, clearly... That was a gameplay trailer. That is stated quite obviously. Now, what, let's clear one thing up, Sony Ponies. Just remember, that trailer from a year, over a year ago, that was an in-engine cinematic trailer. The one we have just seen at the Game Awards 2021 was a gameplay trailer. Cinematic to gameplay trailers are completely different. Cinematic is more film-based. 
it's very polished. It's, it's in engine. It's not the actual gameplay. That we saw at the Game of Wolves just now was a gameplay trailer. The new ponies cannot hack the fact that it looks so darn good. Because it did. And it blew you away. Hence, you're all trying to push back. Push back. And now you're using the what was in the gameplay trailer. Throw 10 spears. Throw spears 10 times. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, in um, Uncharted, you don't just keep shooting people, do you? You don't, don't keep traversing walls 50 million times. You know, it's, it's, it's the type of game, and that's one six-minute gameplay trailer you saw, and you come away assuming the whole game is throwing spears ten times. Have you ever played the first Hellblade, Vamp? I assume you haven't, because your comments just look really, really daft. And the downgrade are obvious. Again, this is where it's the difference between a cinematic and a gameplay trailer. The cinematic trailer from over a year ago even states in the trailer, in engine, not gameplay. There's a massive, massive difference. Please, Sony ponies, start doing your research. I keep saying this. Moving on to the next, from Forest Entity. Sigh. Another long cutscene sequence marketed as a gameplay trailer. I know quick time event games can't really be marketed with press X to win, but calling this gameplay because it fucking was. That's why it was a gameplay trailer. You could see it was a gameplay trailer just by the movement of the characters and the way the camera moved around the character. You could see there was some form of input from a controller controlling the character. And it blended seamlessly with the cinematic stuff, which is what these next-gen consoles can do. Jesus Christ, and what's with Sony Ponies talking about quick time events? Seriously, Uncharted is famous for quick time events, is it not? The Last of Us has quick time events, does it not? I haven't played the Horizon games, so I can't really comment on them. But please, someone let me know if even the Horizon Forbidden games have quick time events, because <laughs> Sony Ponies have got no argument. Stop using QTE and and not and trying to make out this wasn't gameplay because it bloody well was. Jesus Christ, Sony ponies! I know that your Gran Turismo snippet was a piss poor snippet of a racing game that a lot of you actually fell out of love with since the PlayStation Two. Yet you're all, and you know, I know that was such a really bad gameplay footage. But let's not let's not try and confuse the fact that you've got Gran Turismo, the bad gameplay footage, and then you've got Hellblade absolutely annihilating the game awards with this with this gameplay trailer. It's a win-win for Xbox. It has been all bloody year. And to be honest, I think it's going to continue to be for Xbox throughout the bloody year. Throughout the generation, to be honest, I think this has set Sony back so far that you Sony ponies are struggling to to handle it. You're you're latching on to any form of bad negativity you could bring to Xbox. We must do that. We must do this. We must we must downplay anything Xbox ever do. Bring the salt, Sony ponies. Bring the salt. The next one is from Bloodstained Writ. Or Armoros saying scripted gameplays aren't gameplays. I think this one, this only pony is talking in code here. <laughs> is this a riddle? Is this a riddle? Am I being punked? Eh? Am I being punked, Ed? <laughs> scripted gameplays aren't gameplays. It's not scripted. Well, it will, of course, it's scripted. The thing is, that's just a stupid argument. Because any game is scripted. The Uncharted scripted moments that you get that have made it famous 
is scripted. Would you not call that gameplay then? So as you're running away from uh, or trying to climb up that train, because that's scripted, you wouldn't call that gameplay, no? You, again, you Sony ponies move the goalposts all the bloody time. A scripted moment is the whole bloody game. Any game is scripted. Jesus Christ. I think what you're trying to say is cinematic cutscene. I think you wor- you probably worded that wrong, but that wasn't a cinematic cutscene. Well, it blended cinematic cutscenes with gameplay. That's what it can do. Because it's so good looking. The cutscenes and the gameplay now it can blend seamlessly. So there doesn't have to be some separate scene, cutscene to show it. Anyway, we got a response, another response from another. So Rhino's Hark Art, that's not gameplay. And then again, we've got Justin Holland defending the way. Yes, it is, bro. You can see where they were moving around with Senua. Keep the same energy when it released. You ponies are going to take a, be taking a huge L. They already are, Justin. They already are, my man. They're already on the L train. They just cannot hack it. That's not gameplay. Scripted gameplay is not gameplay. Scripted, the game, the whole game is scripted. God damn it. The whole game is scripted. If we want to put that argument back to you, Sony Pony. Okay, so that Uncharted 2, when you're trying to climb up the train and the train's slipping down, that's not scripted, no? You see, by your logic, Bloodstained, that moment when you're climbing up through the train and it's slipping down, that's not gameplay. Because technically, the train falling around you is scripted. So that's not gameplay. According to your logic, Sony, Sony ponies constantly, constantly moving the goalposts. Please, I beg Sony ponies, do research. Think about what you're saying. Stop trying to on the spot react to brilliant, excellent news that constantly keeps flowing out of the Xbox camp. Just because of the jealousy. So, guys, from this, we can take away that the Sony ponies are very salty over this gameplay trailer. They can't seem to get their their minds around the fact that it is a gameplay trailer, blended with cinematic cutscenes, flawlessly, my I add. And then they're trying to bring it down to for for uh, uh, they have a Forbidden Horizon West. Horizon Forbidden West. Try to compare it to that. Now let's let's be honest with that. They're two different styles of graphics. I wouldn't say Horizon Forbidden West is a bad looking game, but let's be honest, we can all pretty much agree that from that gameplay trailer, that that looks better than Horizon Forbidden West. Quite simply. The other one, Horizon Forbidden West doesn't look bad. I'm not saying it's a bad looking game, but it just doesn't look as good as Hellblade 2. That's a fact. Most people agree, would agree with me on that when it comes to that gameplay trailer reveal. And then you've got the argument of that's not gameplay. Guys, come on. Come on. We can tell the difference between cinematic and gameplay. Let's not try and confuse the two and start issuing downgrade statements when there's a difference between cinematic and and gameplay. I mean, we... We're all experienced enough now to know how developers and publishers work when it comes to a cinematic trailer and what we're actually going to get on the gameplay trailer. Come on, we've this has been happening for years in the gaming industry, and we're still you're still trying to use that as your argument. Absolutely poor, poor, poor Sony ponies. Keep bringing the salt, though, guys, because I am enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I'm swimming. I'm swimming in the salt. Anyway, guys, that is the end of my video. If you do like my content, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons. Also, check out my other videos that I've got on my channel. I'm not going to name a specific one. Just go and have a look. See what you like. 
Guys, love you all. Have a nice week, day, month, or even your year. Goodbye.